And then Jordan goes, would you enter a rap battle? <laughs> so, right. <clears throat> and I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, no, don't fuck that. That wasn't at that point yet. But I was like, um, <clears throat> okay, right. I didn't really know much about rap battles. I'd seen Eight Mile. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. And, that's it. And, and, and my, my understanding was like, to be honest, all three, the deal was they had to last the end of term, not get in any trouble for me to do it. And I thought, you have shot someone, you have graffiti at the school, probably one of you is, we're gonna lose one. But if I can get two through, then it'll be something. But they were fucking immaculate, right? They were perfect. They did everything right. Last day of term, one of them would become a prefect. I'm not even joking, right? One of them would become a prefect. They're standing at the doorway, chatting to the head on the last day of term before we break up for Christmas. The door's like slightly ajar. I can hear them. And they're going, yeah, so we really appreciate our learning now. Yeah, we've really turned it around. We really love everything you guys do. Yeah, we're going to go home and get straight on our homework, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he goes, and they come in the door. And Jordan's like, you're fucking dead, sir. You're fucking dead. And I'm like, Jordan, Jordan, you can't swear, Jordan. And he's like, you're dead, though. And I was like, I might be, I might be dead. Um, <laughs> so I signed up for a rap battle tournament. Um, there was one in Peterborough, right? It's called the King of the Mike tournament. Uh, it's a knockout tournament. I needed a rap battle name. I decided to call myself the Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, that's what I went with, right? Um, and there's a YouTube video of them drawing the names for the tournament. And the first thing they pull out, the guy goes, first name in the competition. Omen. His real name's Damien, right? He's like, Omen. Big. Versus. The. The cunt of. Right? So I have to spend like a week, like, emailing the organizers, making it clear that I haven't chosen the most offensive rap out name I can come up with. Um, and, and here's the thing, right? Omen is the most popular MC in, in the city. Uh, at this point in time, he's also like, associated with a lot of like quite violent antisocial behaviour. People are actually quite scared of him. Uh, and added to that, right, the, the the club that the tournament's held in is called Dissident. It doesn't exist anymore. Basically, Dissident in Peterborough was an old old house. They knocked out the walls and they and they like basically sold drugs from it. Like the the bouncers sold MD. It was it was closed down for being a drug den. It's fucking horrendous, right? I would never go to Dissident. And so. Like I said, nothing happens in Peterborough, so all around the city, this urban legend starts to spread that there's an English teacher who's going to have a rap battle with Omen in Dissident, right? And I'm, I'm, what lunchtime, I'm, I'm in with the boys, like yoghurt clubs going on, and, like, and, a, and, and a sixth former comes in and goes like, Sir, we've heard there's an English teacher who's going to have a rap battle with Omen, a Dissident. <clears throat> it's not you, is it? And Jordan was like, yeah, he's gonna fucking die. And I was like, Jordan, <clears throat> can't swear. And they were like, no, seriously, sir, you are in trouble. He's really good, right? He's really good. So he spent the rest of Yoga Club like watching his footage on, on the interactive whiteboard. And like, he's really good, right? He's really good. <clears throat> and they go, it's worse than that. At Dissident, the tradition is, if something sucks, if something's really bad, there's no like pints, they, you buy bottles there. Everyone chucks their bottles at the act on stage, right? Yeah. And they go, the thing is, right, 50-50 chance he'll go first, in which case he's really good. When you start, no offense, sir, you're probably not gonna be very good. They're just gonna bottle you on, on stage. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's really bad. What can I do? Uh, and they, they said, the only thing you can do, Jordan was like, the only thing you can do, sir, is like, go down to the nightclub and rap to them before the competition, show them you're serious. And I thought, well, I've, I've, I've followed you this far. Like, all right, <laughs> I'll do that. So, <clears throat> so a week before the, the battle with Omen, I went down to the, to, the, to the club, right? Wearing my suit, that was part of the deal with the boys. Um, no. uh, wearing the suit, the bouncers looked at me like I'd fucking gone wrong in life somewhere. Like, <laughs> and, and I walked through, they're playing dubstep really loudly. There's a load of like snapbacks, uh, loads of guys gurning in the corner. They turn the dubstep off, somewhat like mid drop as well, right? And someone shouts out on the mic, who wants to see an English teacher rapping? <clears throat> One person in the audience went, yeah, <laughs> that's it, <clears throat> right? So I go up on the stage and I rap. But here's the problem. My understanding of hip hop has been taught to me almost entirely by 13 year old boys. <clears throat> to me, the why are they, well, it seems to me just guys going, I'm really tough and dangerous and I'm really good at rapping. And my problem is I'm not tough and I'm not dangerous and I probably can't actually rap. Um, 
But I thought about it, and, 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 and Jordan Norton said, he said, keep it real, sir. He's like, tell the truth. Hip-hop's about telling the truth. And I love that he said that, because I think it's what poetry does as well. So I thought, I thought the truth is, I'm not tough or dangerous, but I am quite tough, and I am quite dangerous when it comes to playing board games. I, I am really good at it. So, so that's what I rapped about. Um, uh, see if you can count how many board games there are as well. There's a, I've got CDs for sale, they're five pounds around the side. If you get it right, bang on, your first one to get it right, you can have a free CD, all right? Um, okay, so this is how it started. Worst opening gambit for a sea full of hip hop fans. This is a safety announcement for all the rappers in the building. <coughs> Particularly you grimers, you angry little rhymers using crappy one-liners to hint your life is violence. The truth is at the weekend, you're all youth work providers. Badly dressed, power rangers generous, but spineless. Think you're a threat to me? No way do I buy this. Forget those fake tracks you keep on playing, those fake words you keep on saying. You're not dangerous, but I am when playing board games. <laughs> Because you boys in the hood think you're up to no good, but your skills with the dice are lame. Oh, top trump, you weak punks, you'll get trashed. Inca plunk, yeah, I'm really, 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 really good at board games. I'm like an MB innovation. Rolling dice, addition cards without any reservation. When it comes to risk, I tell you this, I am the global nation. Coming at you through Kamchatka like a cannon infestation. A stone age deforestation, I give mousetrap demonstrations. And every game of operation is like a military operation you'll soon make the observation nothing trivial to my pursuit i'm cracking skulls every evening when i'm out of this suit playing the odds on pirates cove stealing your booty i did pretty well on atmosphere though that dvd was spooky i don't give a toss about a loss against you in call of duty because i disemboweled you and guess who when i was sue and you were James. That's because I'm really, 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 really good at board games. If it's punch out, I'll split your lip. If it's poker, I'll take you chip buckaroo. I'll make you make him kick the lightning quick. You find I've sunk your battleship. I fried bacon when I play past the pigs till you wee, wee, wee all the way home. And my meeple and lethal in every game of Carcassonne. I'm in the zone in Monopoly. Just no stopping me. Hopping over pieces of that little silver doggy. Snap of the orange sort of crap property on Mayfair again. Oh, what will you offer me? Blood. I did say blood. Because you boys think you're tight, think you're up for a fight, but you clearly are prepared for the pain. I'll dice you all up. As long as it ain't a school night, I'm really, 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 really good at board games. I'm better than good. I'm very good. <laughs> Trained well since the cradle to dominate any kitchen table. Setters of Catan, I get more all than Castle Grayskull. Will you get the sheep which are cheap and your bartering's pretty painful? You want to role play? Well, I dabble, but run, tell you out in a game of Scrabble, waving triple word scores. Well, they were lethal short swords, spitting fire onto the board. Second place is your reward because the boys in the hood think they're up to no good. But heroes live forever. And no one remember any of your fakey rap names. And I'm probably going to get the shit kicked out of me tonight. But I'm still really, really, really fucking good. At board games. Cool. Thank you very much.